Hello, friends, Vidrosevich here. Welcome to some Jade Golem Druid. Because the Mean Streets of Gadgetan expansion just came out, and why not play what I think is going to be one of the most fun decks uh, out there? So, obviously, starting off the season at nice and low ranks, everyone seems to be playing all sorts of new cards, new strategies, things like that. So, why not hop in on the fun? It looks like we're going to have a pretty good ramp here. A two into a week three drop, a week four drop, but ooh, this discover mechanic has really become a problem now. Paladin has some interesting stuff to discover. We'll just wild, wild growth and pass, and then I think we'll try and save Fandral for some sort of cool combo with the chooses later on. Obviously, not being a choose here, but. We definitely need to get some sweet Fandral value to try and win that late game, that infinite co control game that everyone's worried about that Druid's going to be able to play now, which I don't think is going to be a thing necessarily. I'm expecting lots of people to try it out. I'm trying it out. But I don't think it's going to be as overpoweringly, overbearing, overbearing on the on the meta, on the ladder. That's, it. that's the card that he got. Oh, what? Well, that's kind of terrifying. So now we have the option we can ramp again, actually. And I, I don't think I need to right now. So this is this is interesting. <laughs> but we'll be okay. And this kind of, you know, at least they can test his board. That's a really interesting choice. Which is kind of why sometimes I like being at these ranks. Sure, it's fun to push and try and play ultra competitively. But sometimes it's fun just to play... Play interesting cards, try and do cool stuff. And sure, if you do cool stuff and you end up winning, that's also good, I guess, but not necessarily needed sometimes if you're just looking to have a little bit of fun, which usually, I do. well, in the middle part of the season, oh. Give a random Murloc in your hand, plus one, plus one. Oh boy, and it's cool because this mechanic is interesting because it does actually, yeah, so that has to die now. How good of a swipe is that right now? Not very. So I think I, I know the play, but yeah, it's just interesting. Let's talk about the mechanics. So the card that got buffed is now shining, so we know which one it is. So this 4-2 has to go down. We will J Blossom and take out the 1-1. One, one, and now we can test his board while slowly whittling his down. And we're a turn away from getting, you know, nice Fandral Mire Keeper value, which is not the point of this. We want to get some Jade Golem value off of this. Try and, you know, shuffle into our deck and also still summon a minion. Nice and nice OPOP. -OP. That's what everyone was worried about. Oh, that's painful. Oh. That can't be right. Um, I could just play the Ancient of War. I could charge in as well. I could swipe in hero power. The issue is I don't really develop anything at that point, and I don't want to be going that slow anymore. I like the idea... Um, I kind of like charging. Uh, then it really leaves, and again, that's that's no, not great for... Well, it's okay for mana, but... Meyer Keeper ends up doing nothing, which is fine, I guess. And because he has lots of cards, I do want to hang on to the swipe. And this way, I mean, he's not going to want to use a Consecration or anything like that. If he does, that, that actually we're kind of happy about that, to be honest with you. But I'm definitely not expecting that. And oof, more discovery. This is just... Well, who knows? If this ends up being a slow enough game, maybe we do have a chance for this ultimate infinite, infinite Jade goal. And we can get a nice... Infinite Jade Golem going here. Is he going to use a charge? Why not? Wow. Running Sword of Justice. Is this 2013? Um, I guess we just Ancient of War. And we'll taunt it up. He can take out most of the things that he plays. I mean... There's no way we're going to play a Fandral unprotected. We could have Fandral Mirekeepered, actually. 
potentially okay. Oh, we do not need to draw anymore. That is good to know. That's kind of scary, too. Wow! That's going to be huge! Incredible! Oh, we can use our charge again. That'll be sweet. Uh, how do we do this? How do we do this? We can attack in and swipe. I, don't I still think that's not good enough. Uh, hero power and attack into this is what I think the play is going to be. I think that's what we have to do. We have to we have to get rid of this. And then I think again we can charge in, as silly as it might seem. I don't want to leave him with cards anymore. If he's running some sort of silly buffs or something like that, I just don't want to give him the option to really start running away with the board. Because, as we know, Drew doesn't really have great comeback me mechanics. So we kind of need to protect ourselves as much as possible. Dragon Consort, oh boy. Terrifying. That's a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's fine. At least I can hero power this one down. Maybe we'll have some swipe value now. Oh, definite swipe value. Look at this. Okay, so the plan is we'll just swipe this. Um, can we do everything? No. That's okay. We'll deal two damage. It doesn't matter now, does it? I mean, we could. Yeah. Yeah. I think I miscalculated, to be honest with you, when I set that turn up. But it's okay, because we're getting rid of his overly buffed minions. Getting lots and lots of value and usage out of our cards to kind of keep pace with him, otherwise he would be running us over. Oof, that's a scary one. That's fine. Hey, there's, a, there's another good swipe turn, but we definitely have to hold off on doing that. Oh, I should have saved... One health. That was that was a mistake. That I will. Okay, so now we finally need to play our Jade Golem again. Maybe we're playing into some equality consecrate issues, but I think we're okay because we still do have the draw if we need it. And I guess actually now that we are kind of have emptied our hand a little bit, we will be able to refill it. Oh, that's neat. I mean, we have the power to get through this, so I'm not too worried. Do we still have the power to get through this? <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, we do. Uh, is Fandral good enough there? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Yeah, let's fill our hands up like crazy now. Fen Creeper, after you cast a spell, refresh your hero power. Ooh, I need to make... Oh, I need to get Beardo to make my OTK Priest. Uh, I'll take it. Just a big taunt. Who knows? Maybe it saves me. Infinite value, Raven Idol. Whenever this attacks and kills a minion, summon two Murlocs from your deck. I have no Murlocs in my deck. I'm just going to take a big... Oh, and here we go. Feral Rage time. Feral Rage. A nice 4 plus 3, right? 4 plus 3 every time. And the question is, do we go for value or just get our draw? And I think we'll just get our draw now. Oh, we still have control. That's a good one. And we're happy about this. We're not happy that we're not able to get our Jade Golem engine going, but that's okay. This game might still go on. I'm not expecting this one to end right now. I'm kind of hoping for these crazy control matchups, to be honest with you. Uh-oh. Well, never mind. I take it back. Oh. What the heck? Why? <laughs> Why? That's okay. We'll get rid of you. Efficiently. That doesn't help. Get rid of you. And we'll play another big taunt. I have played a few games with this deck and it doesn't really keep up all the time necessarily. But because we're playing two slow decks here, it kind of... Gave me that chance. Oh, and I, th I feel like we might be running into a concede soon, but... I, I really hope we don't, because we've been able to get this Jade Golem. Not really huge, obviously, but still there. It's going to be really interesting to see how these different... Oh, my. I'll clear. I don't mind clearing. I, I don't have lethal. It's not super BM, right?
Oof, do we want to draw now? Is that too much? No, who cares? And we get a couple mana crystals back to more innervates. Perfect. And we'll take a Jade Golem. That's a nice big juicy one. Dealing two damage to you. Should we swipe the rest down? What if we get... Um, this is my fault. I mean, I think we had lethal. Maybe this is just BM now. Did we have lethal actually? Four? Oh yeah, we totally did. Oops. I'm sorry, I just want to see my Jade Golem grow. Maybe the Jade Golem only works in really, really specific. I wonder about the consistency. I really, really wonder. Yeah, we should have finished the game there. I apologize. I'm really bad at this. I do that sometimes. I've done it a few times. Oh, heal, uh, heal zero. And oh, that's still not enough because you need your full plus one. Hey, interesting aggro Murloc deck. I was somehow able to control it in the early game. Yeah, taking out that Jade Behemoth. Oh, Rag. Fine. Okay, so this was not the control deck. All of those combo Jade Golem cards were at the bottom six, which is fine. So, that was fun. I, I really enjoyed that deck. I, I hope it has some sort of consistency so we can play it a little bit, but... I don't know. We'll see. We need to also rank up a little bit to play maybe slightly more competitive decks as well. But thanks for hanging out with me. If you enjoy the videos, feel free to subscribe for lots more Mean Streets of Gadgetstan. I know I'm going to be playing a lot of Dragon Priest, maybe some Pirate Warrior upcoming, as, as well as this Jade Golem Druid. I'll see you next.